Hello and welcome to my Minecraft RL Craft modded let's play where I'm basically just gonna play this game and try to make it look kind of easy. So this is gonna sound like a really weird recording because uh, my audio got messed up so this is not a live audio recording and there's also no gameplay sound so I'll just be putting some music in hopefully trying to match the atmosphere and you'll see as you can see right here I spawned in like a swamp and there's this really big haze, so I was trying to make sure my render distance was set correctly. It was, the haze is just really, really bad in this swamp biome, but the good news is we started next to a battle tower, which we will be trying to take on within the first two or three days here. So right now we're just gathering some flint uh, from this gravel. Of course you need flint, so you gotta bang it against some stone, get those flint shards, make a flint knife, make a flint axe so you can get the uh, get some plant fibers and stuff and make stone tools eventually and just keep upgrading so here I'm looking for stone so I can make cobblestones because I don't want to be using flint tools for very long I just basically just want to get straight into stone tools so that I can progress through the game so I'm just breaking gravel here to get the stone quicker and there we go we found some stone so we're gonna take this flint we're gonna smash it up with three of them that's uh, six different flint shards and uh, now I need a stick so I'm just gonna break some of these leaves there should be a stick coming out in a second. So there we go, we got a stick. Now we're gonna go craft a flint knife. So what this is gonna do is help us get plant fiber from this tall grass, which we can make uh, into a form of string, which will allow us to make our flint hatchet. So here we are, we're making some cobblestone. I'm gonna need two more cobblestone for my hatchet. But there's plenty of plant string right there, which is gonna be just fine. So here we are, I'm going and collecting uh, Cobblestone. I actually don't need cobblestone right now because I have to make the flint hatchet first. So here we go, realizing that I need another stick for my flint hatchet. So back to the tree. We're just going to punch those leaves, and we got a stick pretty early, so that's pretty lucky. So now that we've got our flint axe, we are going to be able to go to town on some trees, just like this. So here we go. This flint axe takes absolutely forever, as does uh, most things in this mod pack, but we're going to be changing that meta as. Hopefully, we'll be able to see here soon enough. So here we go, we're gonna wait on the tree to fall over. Don't stand in the way of those trees, they will kill you if they fall on you. It's, uh, it's happened to me a couple times, it's not a fun time, I was very mad. All right, so here we go, we're collecting a little more, a little more stone so we can make some pieces of cobblestone. So we just need two more. There's a lot of chickens around here, it's a good sign. That means we can get some food if we need it but food should not really be an issue, hopefully. So here we go, we just need one more stone. Unfortunately, we can't really find any stone because of all the water around. And we actually just missed a stone right there, actually. So here we go, our last piece of stone. Crafting up the cobblestone. We're gonna place some wood down here. We're gonna chop it up so we can uh, make a crafting table. And I didn't mean to place those down but if you chop those up, they will make sticks. So here we go. We had like what, eight? Eight or so oak logs. Made very few planks. Uh, eventually we'll make a saw, that'll help that, but efficiency early on in our craft is absolutely terrible. You wanna try to get uh, those advanced tools and things as soon as you can. So first off, we're gonna make a pickaxe so we can go get some cobblestone. So right now we're just digging in the dirt. And there we go, we got some stone. It's just like the basic Minecraft starting off right now. It's a button set of wood tools, you start with flint tools. So we're just gonna mine some rock out here. Not a whole lot, we don't really need it for much right now except for a couple of basic tools. So that should be about enough right there. And we're gonna come up to our crafting table and we're gonna try to make sticks, but then we realize, oh wait, it's RL craft. You can't make sticks like that. So we're gonna to have to place some oak planks right down here. And we're gonna get our flint hatchet out and make some sticks. Of course, we don't get very many sticks because it is RL craft. But why would we get anything efficiently? So I'm gonna absolutely fail to make all of those cobblestones. So I'm eventually make them, we'll make an axe. And then we're gonna go and we're gonna search for a saber because if you're not making a saber, oh, what are you really doing? So you need this handle, which is made with a string or a plant fiber and a stick. Uh, it, just, it just makes it an extra step. This, you know, I don't know why they did that, but there we go. Another stone saber. 
Stone tools, we're doing good. So now our first order of business is, well first, take a drink, and then go look for some sheep, because we need to sleep, otherwise we're not going to have a respawn point. If we don't have a respawn point, you know the game. You lose where you are, you can't find your stuff, and it's a bad time. But we did find this cool jungle tree with some mushrooms, so that's pretty fun. Alright, so we're heading over here. Um, I had never seen this biome before with this core start. I thought that was pretty cool. But we're going to find uh, really nothing that we're looking for. We're going to see a spider and we're going to choose to avoid that because we don't want to we don't want to get involved in anything. So there's a lot of these uh, these abandoned structures. They don't really serve a purpose. But what's that? We're going to get attacked by a mob in the forest. I was not ready at all. Look, I'm going to try to attack and I'm going to open my inventory. And But we're going to take out the work either way. We're going to get its leather and we're going to find some sheep. One was already killed right there. Give us some wool. We're going to slaughter another sheep. And then we're going to debate which one to take. So we take out the gray sheep. But this was actually a mistake right here as we we're about to see. Because beds come in different colors. So we have to have the same kind of wool to make our bed. So at this point I'm panicking and I remember, oh, wait, plant fibers make plant string, which can make wool. So here we are, we're making some plant fiber. And we're just going to craft it up and then bam, we got our white wool. So we can finally make our bed. So here we are, we make our bed. And we're actually going to come over here and we're going to try to sleep. But, there's going to be a slight problem when we try to sleep here. So, as you can see, it says you can only sleep at night. And on 1.16, the newer versions, you can actually right click and it'll set your spawn point, but not in these old versions. Uh, the game works differently, I forgot that. It's been a minute since I played. So, we're just going to take our anchor out on this zombie here, going to achieve making some levels. and. We're gonna get some to drink. No, we're not. Just kidding. We don't have any thirst. So we're gonna look around. We're gonna start exploring. We're gonna see some of these squid, and uh, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna kill them because we need some food. We want some XP. We want some ink sacks. I don't really know why we want any ink sacks, but we just do. So we got our raw squid, our ink sacks, and our XP. And we're actually gonna drink now and we're gonna try to get up to level 5 here so we can uh, choose our specialization for XP so there we go it glitches out it says level 4 but it really meant level 5 so here we go we're gonna click L and we're gonna choose combat for more XP for mobs because I mean it, what are we doing mining crafting no we're gonna be fighting mobs so there we go we're not gonna mess with these yet but we're gonna we're gonna go in here we're gonna get our defense up because I'm gonna need a shield. But actually I had a bit of a hindsight here, as we'll we'll see momentarily. So we're just gonna be looking for a place to live. We found this little island right here. So we just wander around for a minute later and we chop down the trees here. And then we're gonna to decide to uh, to put our bed down and make our home on this little island here momentarily. So, got our crafting table down, got our bed down, chopping up the tree. And we're sleeping, we set our spawn. We're doing good now. So, now that we slept, we're gonna make a little bit more wood here and we're gonna make some chests. And we're gonna go exploring because, you know, why, why not? So there's our chest, we're just going to dump our inventory out. And then I get an idea. So there's a battle tower nearby, so I decided to bring in a fishing rod, which needs a gathering of four, so I didn't need to spend my experience uh, on defense. I should have put it in the gathering, so we can use that fishing rod at the top of the tower to take out the tower golem. So I've got a tutorial on that if you need to see it, but I'll be showing it later in this video for y'all that don't know what's going on with that. So, we're just gonna set to pick up some mutton. 
I'm actually gonna make some charcoal from this wood first and then uh, cook some squid. So we, we decided to go exploring uh, just while I was cooking and I found this weird little structure right here. I decided to check this out. Uh, there wasn't anything really useful so I was like okay why not let's let's go in the front of it and see what is up with it. So I expected to be some mobs, maybe some tripwires. That's why we're getting out of the ground. Then I see those dispensers and look at that. We could have run right into those. So we're just gonna get that out, take some string. And then I see these chests. So they're facing backwards. I can't see if they're trapped or not. So we're just gonna hand and uh, dig out the ground right here. Make sure they're not trapped. Turns out these chests were not trapped. So free arrows, free dispensers. Doesn't get much better than that. And we're also gonna wanna take these skeleton heads because you know they're pretty cool. We can do a lot with those, we can decorate, we can make them cool. And here comes to open the chest and it's it's crap. It's a recall potion and it ain't gonna powder. So I don't think I could have been more disappointed in a, a loot chest like this. But to be fair, it wasn't a very big dungeon, it wasn't very cool. So we're just gonna be digging around here, looking for something. Maybe there's more to this thing. Who knows? You know, there's a lot of stone break. We're still digging in the stone break. So we're just gonna turn the corner here. And we're gonna wind up just not finding anything. So we're gonna decide to go back up here. And of course, you know, yeah, I got curious. So I decided, heck, I'll dig below the iron bars. Maybe there's something cool there. And as it turns out, uh, there wasn't anything cool. So we're back home now. We're opening our health menu. We're gonna find out we actually have full health, which is pretty cool. And then we're gonna put all our crap back into the chest. We're gonna get a charcoal, we're gonna put our squid in there. And we're gonna get ourselves some food. So first order is now is gonna be get some more XP to get our fishing rod abilities from gathering four. As you can see, we're at a two, we need two more levels right there. So I thought, uh, hey, you know, the battle tower's got spawners in it. Let's get some food. Let's get some water. Let's get a couple blocks and let's let's go take this thing on for a minute. So we got some squid. We got some water. We're full. We no longer are thirsting. I got my blocks, and we're heading towards the battle tower. So we're just going to kind of hop in here for a little swim real quick. We're going to be looking for spawners ideally. They're both zombies. So we can just farm zombies for XP. Hopefully no skeletons because they can one shot you in the head when you don't have any armor. So zombies, good luck. And then we see skeletons. So we're just going to run away. We're going to run to the side. We're going to try to destroy that spawner. But first there's a baby zombie coming after us. So you know we got to take care of business. And this thing gives us two levels, which is absolutely phenomenal. So, we're just going to decide to dig in here, you know, we can get the chest, maybe get the spawners. Can't quite get the spawner, but I can get the chest, which has a bottle of experience and some torches. Um, I'm going to put that down and hopefully stop the skeletons. But if you don't know, uh, these are the normal Minecraft torches. And uh, you can make ones in Craft, but they will go out. I'm gonna have to keep lighting them, but these Minecraft ones don't go out. So if you find them in a dungeon, keep them. They're very valuable. They never go out. So right here, I'm trying to figure out a way to get rid of this skeleton spawner because I don't want to deal with it ever again. So I'm gonna try to do that. The skeleton's shooting at me. You know, I'm getting a little worried. He shoots me in the leg. So I say, okay, we're done with it. You know, we're uh, we're just gonna try to build build around here, get rid of this water, and maybe try to get rid of that skeleton spawner. So I decided I could jump in there, but I don't want to get a shot again. So uh, I'm gonna uh, have the idea to build off to the side right here. And there we go, I'm gonna dig one more just for good measure. We're gonna jump down in and we're gonna take our angle. We're gonna mine it away, get rid of it, grab some hard dust, avoid the skeletons, because if we do not want to deal with them. And we're going to go ahead and give ourselves some XP to get that uh, that fourth level gathering. We can now use our fishing rod. You know, that's awesome. This skeleton 
is going to be tracking us down relentlessly though look at that uh, you know we, we took the arrow to the knee the classic you know the Skyrim doesn't get much better than that that is still following us I mean he's insane he's a warrior look at that so we're gonna say bye to that skeleton right there we're gonna hop on over to our little place you know we're gonna put some things away And then uh, we're gonna decide to go mining here in a second because we need to get to the top of the battle tower. So normally you're supposed to take them from the bottom, build up to the top. Uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna do it the opposite way. So I'm gonna grab some sticks, I'm gonna make another pickaxe. I don't have the stone, I realize, so I'm gonna have to go mining for it. So I'm just gonna dig in here and then kind of dig a tunnel. Yeah, the battle tower. It's not gonna be standing for long, or it won't be standing. But we're gonna defeat it in uh, probably the most cheese way of all time. So we went mining. We got some stone, some andesite stone, and uh, we're gonna make a pickaxe here, just for a good measure. And then we're gonna go take on this battle tower. So there we go, extra stone pickaxe. We are absolutely ready. Uh, we're gonna sleep first, get our HP back up. We're gonna listen to the nice sounds. With the people in the apartments next to me stomping on a, uh, a Tuesday night at 7.35. So, you know, you love to hear the sounds. Apparently my Minecraft player didn't get any sleep from the sound of that. So he's just going to be uh, staring at the floor. And we're actually going to try to drink some water because, I mean, who isn't thirsty when they wake up in the morning? Let's be honest. So we got everything we need. We're going to get some more blocks. We got our fishing rod. We got some torches. Because you never know when you need some torches, right? Recall potion if things get nasty. So here we go. We're feeling brave. We got our torches. We're double checking. Couldn't forget the food, of course. And it is now time to go take on the battle tower and the tower golem. So we're just going to make our way back over to the battle tower. We got our fishing rod, we got our gathering, we're ready. And it is time to get rich. So there's a cool little floating vine. I don't know why that happened. Why it just gets weird sometimes. You know, you see weird things, you, you just gotta let it happen. So here we go, we're running around on the Outer Banks. By the way, great show on Netflix. Go watch it right now. 10 out of 10, word recommends, word watch again. So here we go, we're gonna come up on the side so we can't get shot by any skeletons. So we're just gonna pick our spot and we're gonna start building right here using this ugly granite cobblestone, which surprisingly looks better than most forms of vanilla granite anyway. Actually all of them. So this is diorite cobblestone. Like why can't diorite look like that? That's cool. Normal diorite, it might be the worst block in the game. So here we go, we're hearing weird noises. Of course you can't hear them in the recording because uh, it, it corrupted. Shout out to my computer, shout out to OBS for that one. So here we go, we're using the gravel because I don't use my cobblestone. I can craft things with that. I don't want gravel. So I'm just checking how close I am. Bringing out the cobblestone. I can feel it, we're getting close. This, the ground's getting misty and blurry. So here we are, there's the tower golem. And uh, if you're wondering why he is not shooting me right now, trying to kill me, he gets activated when you actually uh, go over the battle tower and get close enough to him. So we're going to build out a little bit from our tower, and we're going to wind up using this whole fishing rod. You really only need three or four, but I want to be safe, and I want him to be slung far, far away uh, into a galaxy, different galaxy, different dimension even. So he can never deal with us again. So we're just going to get these things out of his way. My game's going to freeze. You know, I don't know why. My computer is a, it's pretty new. It's good, good hardware, but it still happens. So here we go. We're feeling brave. We're going to risk our legs. And we're going to say yellow and just jump for it. With stone saber in hand. Here we go. It's going to get flung away. He's like 15 miles in the air right now. But he's actually still going to be shooting fireballs at us. As we can see right there, look at that, he's going to rain down, miss us. But he won't be bothering us anymore because he's so far away now. So we're going to put that fire out and we're going to look at our riches. Oh my gosh, look at that. 
So we are rich now. We can't use any of this because we don't have the high enough levels, but that's okay. Because we can get the levels from the rest of the bell tower. So we get the miner's ring. We got 33 diamonds, 33 gold, lapis. I mean, it's crazy. That miner's ring uh, gives you haste one. So we're going to be able to We'll be able to dig faster. I didn't put it on for some reason. I don't really know why I wasn't thinking. I was too excited. And I'm just going to dig out some of these stone slabs. Because there are skeleton spawners below us and I don't want them spawning. And I just want the skeletons to all die. So eventually the spawners will break after a certain amount of spawns so you can't farm XP. But we also broke that. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description of the Zap from Farm. It's really easy. Early game will be shown it off in this let's play. You can get level 30 in pretty much no time. You have plenty of resources, it's awesome. So here we are, we're just gonna be breaking these things. Saying goodbye to these skeletons, because we don't like them. And of course, you know, we got lots of loot. So I'm really scared right now that these skeletons are just gonna start killing me. So we're about to hop off this thing. Yeah, here they are, they start looking at me. So I said, okay. It is time to go away from this tower and we jump. Yeah, there we go. All right. So we we haven't made it home safe yet. Surprising, and all right. We're gonna look at that thing in the top right of the screen next to the Enderman. Like, what is that thing? It's like a giant swamp tree. Just come for us. I don't know if it was pathfinding us right here. I thought that was insane. I thought it was coming to kill me. But it didn't actually come to us until about now. So I'm gonna hurry to put my stuff away before it like eats it all. And at this point I'm scared, but I look at it. It's got 25 HP. It's not even coming close to us. We're just gonna body this thing. It's gonna give us some melon seeds. It made a horrible sound when it died, but that's okay. You know, we're here for the XP and the melon seeds. So we're gonna organize our things, play around, look at our riches. And that is gonna be the end of our episode one of uh destroying our aircraft making it easy so if you like what you like like comment subscribe it's free you can always unsubscribe and leave me a comment tell me what i should do next time give me suggestions audio will probably be fixed next time who knows and i will see y'all in the next episode